Hi, I'm Olivia Ede. I'm a senior at Pentucket and I'm making this video about Pentucket's dress code, but we're just using Pentucket as an example of a larger problem with dress code in public schools. I feel that the dress code is restrictive and can shame girls into wearing things that they don't really feel comfortable in just because they're trying to follow a set of rules. So we talked to different people to get their opinions on the subject. And in the end, we just hope that Kentucket will try to make the dress code more modern. I'm Marco. I'm a junior. My name is Jane Atwood. I'm a senior. My name is Richie Hardy. At Kentucket, I came here in the 0708 year. My name is Ella Meridian. I'm a freshman. My name is Melanie Adams. I'm a senior. Cynthia Cromwell. It's my fifth year. Um, I think the it's not technically a dress code, but it is um, attire guidelines. Um, and I think that um, the attire guidelines are um, sufficient if they were actually enforced. We're here for school. It's not fashion week. I just feel like people could cover up a little bit more and, um, and it wouldn't be a big deal. I'm, there's some things on there that just I don't think should be necessary, like spaghetti straps, tank tops, things like that. Like showing your shoulders isn't going to distract someone from algebra. <laughs> I feel they're appropriate for school for the most part. We want an environment here, I guess, that uh, promotes learning, uh, that's not distracting. Considering we wear these clothes like every day, I think it's difficult for most of the staff to call it out. I mean, we wear most of it every day. I feel like it's kind of old, maybe a little bit outdated. I think the guidelines are great because they're straightforward. I don't think missing class is necessarily the way to go um, as a punishment. Again, I think that just simply asking someone to either get something out of their own car, their gym bag, something like that to cover up and to then be meeting the attire guidelines is, is a, an appropriate response to that. I don't think that dress code violations should be a disciplinary issue. It doesn't make me less of a good student what I wear. If a student is distracting me by not adhering to the dress code, I would say something. Conversation with guidance or, you know, something where the student doesn't feel ostracized, it's very awkward. You know, I guess especially for a male teacher towards a female. Yeah, so I don't think a teacher should be calling out anyone in front of the class. I think if they're really bothered that much, talk to them one-on-one. -on -one. I feel like depending on what they're wearing, if it's very inappropriate for a public school or if it's something that might be showing a little bit too much, maybe a teacher isn't wrong for calling a girl out. I think it's more biased towards females. I mean, there are like, a f there are I, like I noticed like the muscle shirt, so that's more of like a guy thing, but this is definitely more of a female thing. So I think that oftentimes, um, I don't ever hear boys complaining about the dress code or the, the uh, attire guidelines. Um, I do hear girls uh, complaining about it. Girls who aren't like completely skinny are shamed and dress coded more often than people who can wear the same exact things and get away with it. Definitely there are some biased things about the dress code for uh, girls compared to guys and I feel like it's unfair to be called out just because they are girls. Basically everything is for girls. I mean muscle shirts or basketball shirts is like about the most vivid it gets for the dress code for guys but for girls it's like no tank tops, finger length shorts, like you can't show anything, belly buttons, shoulders, not okay. And then girls will grow up and they'll think that none of that's okay. Like it's just not okay to show yourself, but you should be like okay with your body image and things like that. And especially for like guys as well, like if they're teaching guys that seeing someone's shoulder, like it's not okay. Like if somebody, especially with like rape culture and stuff like that, when you grow up, if they think that that's okay, then they'll, might go on to do something like that and think, oh, they were just asking for it. But they really weren't. It was just what they grew up thinking. They're kind of directed towards females for the most part, aside from the muscle shirts and the low rider pants, but I guess that females could wear those as well. Uh, many students were saying, well, it's just the girls who are well endowed who need to cover up. And I said, but we can't really discriminate against girls who are uh, well endowed, right? It, it, the rule has to apply to everybody. You're not going to be able to distinguish between body type. I feel like it's putting a negative connotation with our bodies. Like I think these days we talk about like body shaming and everything and how like 
and like we should feel confident in our bodies but then like our own like staff and teachers are the ones who are calling us out. I, I had this issue in the Outer Banks where boys would wear board shorts and girls were like they're wearing bathing suits why can't we wear bathing suits? I said great point and I wouldn't let boys wear board shorts. In my old school we had a vice principal and she was like crazy for dress code and she started banning like black leggings and like anything like any shoulders at all like weren't okay. They made every girl in the class stand up and they had to put their hands down if it was past their fingertips and they had to go change. I think that the issue is it becomes very difficult for um, some people to concentrate when there's so much skin showing on other people in the class. I think it's fine. I think it's fine. I think that maybe it should say things, something like about, you know, skin from, you know, from here to wherever. So again, if that means that somebody can be wearing a strapless tube top, you know what I mean, to school, I wouldn't agree with that. The thing I like about this dress code is because it doesn't um, make teachers the police it gives students a little more freedom and it doesn't create the personal tension between teachers and students. Well, it's a lot better, definitely. Like, I especially liked how they talked about enforcing it and how it shouldn't discriminate against people. And I think the only thing they're really restricting here was basically like violent language or images or things to like alcohol or drugs, which I think is like reasonable. So I definitely think this should be like everywhere. <laughs> so it's certainly more inclusive uh, in terms of like gender and um, in, in everything that we deal with today, you know, in today's uh, society. And I think it's also, um, it seems to be open to discussion and not just a list of things not to do. Um, and certainly includes um, self-identity and gender and expression of oneself. And, you know, obviously has a much more modern twist. We're a public school and we want to support um, people's lifestyle choices and their fashion choices and all that. I mean, I definitely like the our values part because like I think like I think it's really embarrassing when a teacher calls you out in front of a class for what you're wearing. I definitely think that the dress code could be modernized because you have a lot more different styles and fashion of clothing now that wasn't around probably when the dress code was created and so to update it would probably reflect like what people are wearing now and it'd be much more efficient. It should definitely be modified and changed and that it's happening everywhere and I like how some places are actually doing something about it so that's cool. Yeah, I mean I think we can always look at what we do and get better at it and make things more modern. I'm sure that what's in our handbook is what's been in there for a long time and it just kind of gets reprinted. Um, but it usually takes, you know, kind of like-minded students to, to push faculty or push administration to, you know, to take a look at our rules and, and revamp them, so. In conclusion, um, it was really interesting to talk to teachers and students about their opinion on the subject. And I hope that after elucidating all these different opinions, um, people at Pentucket will be able to see both sides of the dress code issue and maybe reach a medium, like allowing students to express themselves with their clothing, but in a way that still seems respectful to teachers. So um, thank you for watching.